how do, do the new U.S. sanctions change the game when it comes to the risks that you could be running? I think we need to look now. Obviously, uh, all of us uh, have uh, seen the, uh, the enactment of the bill. I think we also, all of us, heard the uh, comments that the U.S. president made on the uh, announcement of the enactment. And I think it will now be important to see what the administration will really do in terms of uh, how this uh, law and how this bill will be uh, taken up uh, in reality. And I think this is what we now need to see over the next weeks and months to see how we can comply with that and at the same time, obviously, continue our support of Nord Stream 2. And again, uh, really an important project, both for the European energy security as well as for us as a company. How important really is it? So I, I want to take you back. I think it was June. Uh, we had a key ally of the Chancellor, um, uh, Roderick uh, Kezaveta. I think he's, he's one of uh, Angela Merkel's key people in Parliament when it comes to foreign affairs. I think he sits on the Foreign Affairs Committee. He says, and I'm quoting here, um, he says that the, uh, the, 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 the Nord Stream 2 pipeline is, quote, currently not necessary from my point of view. Do you worry that even German political circles are not in favour of this, of this going forward? I think we're perfectly aware that uh, on a project like that, there are always different views. Uh, trust me, we're in the energy business since decades. We are one of the largest gas companies in Europe. And I think we feel very confident that we can judge what is needed for the gas market uh, across Europe, both in terms of infrastructure as well as in terms of uh, supply. And again, uh, obviously a lot of voices on that topic but I think I find it quite encouraging that the government is very clearly addressing the sanctions topic and is uh, clearly opposing the sanctions topic. I've heard some very clear voices out of Brussels from the president of the commission that is clearly against the sanctions. And I think this is just not the right way that the U.S. is now trying to uh, essentially do energy policy in Europe. Uh, I think that's a topic for Europeans uh, to do that for Europe. And uh, I hope that we get back into that mode.